Hello! So it's Saturday. Instead of a vlog, I decided I wanted to talk about some new makeup. I recently made a pretty big purchase for me, pretty big purchase, uh, at Ulta and Sephora, and I wanted to show you guys. So Basically, if you've seen my videos, if you follow me on Instagram, Sierra of the Day on Instagram, you know that I really like eyeshadow. <laughs> and so because I like eyeshadow and eyeshadow palettes, it's really hard for me to then spend money on something that's not eyeshadow makeup wise because I'm always just like, I'm going to buy eyeshadow instead. And because of that, I have a lot of non eyeshadow products that I've just had for a really long time like I have one or two foundations that I'll use I have a setting spray that I'll use and I'll have them forever because instead of buying and trying different things like that I always end up buying eyeshadow so it's a new year I thought I really need to <laughs> replace some of these products and what we're gonna do is see if any of these current staples that I'm using get dethroned, dethroned, and, uh, and see how they compare to my new products that I bought. So this is just a haul video. I've tried on some of these products. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try on all of them here, but I'll put on some of them, I'm sure, since I'm not wearing any makeup right now. And yeah, that's the plan. So if you want to watch, stick around. So my plan is to go in order of how I would put products on my face. So first we're going to do some face products. I don't always use a primer, but I've if I do use a primer, um, I've had the Milk Hydro Grip for a long time. If you can see, it's like basically almost empty. It was awesome. I liked it very much. And also, if there's a mini, I will buy a mini of a new product because I don't go through makeup very quickly because I don't really wear it every day. And if it's new, I don't want to buy something new that I might end up not liking in the full size. Probably what a lot of people do. So this is what I was using. And my new option, which is not comparable really at all besides you can put it on your face before foundation, is the mini Charlotte Tilbury, what is it called? Hollywood Flawless Filter. I got it in the shade Too Fair, and it's a little smaller than I thought it was going to be for the price. Um, but I've tried it a couple times already, and it's really fun. I like a more glowy look, and this gives you that. And you can wear it a couple different ways. The only way I've tried is under concealer so far. So you can wear it under your face products, you can mix it in with foundation, or you can put it on top like a highlighter. And it just has, let me show you, a little doe foot. And I'll just put it on right now. This is what I do. Just swipe it on like a foundation basically. And then I'll use a brush. And wipe it in but it just gives this pretty little shine look at that am I glowing but that's the glow and so it looks really cool under foundation but honestly I would just wear it like this by itself big fan I can see myself going through this really quickly actually <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on real quick and be right back Okay, so concealer is on. I just used Maybelline Age Rewind. This is Fair 10, if you're interested. Classic, love it a lot. But I think just concealer and this might be my new go-to thing. So this is definitely working itself in as a new staple, for sure. I haven't worn it for a long time yet, so we'll see how it wears, but like, come on. Next is eyebrows. So as you might have seen, I think in my last vlog, I have 
the super low, inexpensive um, e.l.f. What's it called? E.l.f. Instant Brow Lift. I don't like it. It was like $2 and I needed something, so I grabbed it, but I'm not a fan. I like the color. Um, I don't really use the spoolie for my brows at all. And this is giant, which is why I don't like it. But it was doing its job. Um, however, since I was buying new stuff for the new year, I thought I would try the NYX, what's this called? Micro brow? Micro brow? <laughs> and this, okay, that's the spoolie side. This is more the size that I'm looking for. Because mostly for brows, I just want to fill in the tail and like bring the tail out. Look at this. Can you see it? The size difference? Yes. I got the shade before black, which might have been a mistake because I probably should have just gotten the blackest shade of this. But it's still really good and I'm definitely going to be using it instead of this. I don't know if I'm going to throw this away or use it up or what the plan is. Um, but so far, this new NYX one definitely the new go-to staple item so i'll put this on real quick and we'll get into the next thing okay so as you might be able to tell it's a little warmer a little lighter than my normal brow color but it applies super easy it's exactly what i wanted application wise it was ten dollars where the elf one i think is like two or three dollars so definitely a difference but just for how much better it works. I think it was worth it for me. Um, so yeah, I don't think it looks unnatural, but I would normally like a little bit of a darker color for my brows. So now we've got this like ombre thing <laughs> almost. Next, we're jumping to mascara because mascara is the reason that I really needed to make a purchase, a makeup purchase. Um, and of course I went way further and bought way more but mascara is the reason that i really needed to update my makeup <laughs> so the current mascara find it. the current mascara that i use is urban decay perversion it's awesome i like it a lot it's black it's spiky like i like my eyelashes like just frayed out and like there separated and there I don't know. Um, this works awesome, but it's expensive, and I didn't want to spend $20 on a mascara again. So I asked some people for some suggestions on Instagram, and there were a lot of different suggestions. I actually ended up buying two mascaras. First, we'll talk about the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm not going to open this. I'm just going to save it for the next time. I need a new mascara because mascara goes bad so quickly, so we're holding on to this. Stay tuned, but I heard this one's really cool. And then I got the Essence Lash Princess. This was $5, um, much better than $20, and people said it works really awesome, so I wanted to try it. Like I said, I didn't want to spend money on something expensive. Um, some of my like mascara things that I don't like is I didn't like the better than sex mascara I mean it was fine but what I didn't like about it is that the wand was like so fluffy and so big I don't know if my eyes are just small or what but I like it was just too big it was like the size of my eyeball and I felt like I couldn't actually get it to the root of my lashes all the way to the top so I didn't want something like that I really like a spikier rubber wand um I don't know why, but I know a lot of people like don't love that. I like that. So I wanted something that was just smaller and easier to use and was just gonna uh, define my lashes and make them look, I don't know, a little more Bambi-like. So not a huge amount of volume, but just like there and separated. And I think this does it. So I'll put this on real quick and I don't know if it'll show up obviously on the camera or not, but we'll see. Okay, so I put it on and it's doing what I wanted to do. 
You see, this one is harder to see because there's more light on it right now. But I put it on my top and bottom lashes. I like my bottom lashes a lot more than my top lashes. Um, I feel like they're almost just as long as my top lashes. And anytime I can emphasize those is something that I want to do. So $5 does what I want it to do. Can't beat it. I've used it once or twice before and I like how it wore. So this is definitely replacing my Perversion Mascara, which, as I said, was the goal of these purchases. So that's a win right there. Next, I have a couple lip things. I have some lip liners and a lipstick. Um, we'll do the lip liner first. So my go-to lip liners have been ColourPop lip liners. I've had them forever, probably like right when they got popular and came out. Uh, it's probably gross that I still have them, but they smell fine and stuff. Um, I just felt like it was time for some new ones. This one is my go-to. This is the Aquarius lip liner. So I'm pretty sure it was limited edition, Kathleen Lights collaboration, and I really like the way that the ColourPop lip, lip liners wear and apply. I do not like how messy and hard they are to sharpen. I don't know if this is just me, but I struggle hardcore trying to make this like usable. <laughs> But the product itself works really well. It's the container, whatever you call this pencil part, that I do not enjoy. So I was looking for something to replace this. Now, I don't think I pulled it off very well. First, I really like the product itself. I think I picked the wrong colors. These ones are from Ulta. They're just the NYX retractable lip liner, pretty standard. Um... It looks like they were $5 each, so reasonable, I think, about the same price as the ColourPop one. But I, Ulta is so hard to figure out what color something actually is, unless you, like, reference it on other websites. I'll just draw, let's swatch. Also, pardon this, this, pardon my hands, my cat was playing with me this morning and she scratch the crap out of me which is fine it was totally playing and like just for fun but it's weird so ignore it now I definitely did not hit a color match this is Aquarius this is my favorite favorite color of all lip things this is what is it called pinky beige so it's cute but not a color match. And then this was Nectar. And it's actually like metallic. Can you tell? I was like, I put it on last night to try it and I was like, is this metallic? So that was confusing. <laughs> but I guess I'll just keep it and find something that works with it. But both are not the color that I was looking for. However, I do really like the quality. I like that they're twist up. Um, I should probably try doing real pencil instead of plastics, but I like the twist up just because I had such a pain in the butt with this plastic but also not twist up situation. I hope they're redoing their lip liners soon. They were getting rid of a bunch of them and I'm hoping they're just gonna like revamp all of their liners. But yeah, so I was trying to move my collection also away from just a lot of ColourPop because when I was in grad school, it was easy to just buy a bunch of ColourPop because it was affordable, but I want to branch out. So this is still going to be my collection because I need it, but these I will keep trying. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to put one of these on right now because I don't think the color goes with the next lip product that I wanted, so I put this on. Okay, Aquarius lip liner is on. I just love this color so much. If anybody knows an Aquarius dupe that is also, besides mascara, the reason that I was purchasing things. So next is lips, my favorite, favorite lip things of all time are the Aquarius Ultra Satin and the Aquarius Lippy Stick. 
And again, they are discontinued. They were limited edition. Please make them again. Uh, let me grab one of them. I'm showing you guys the lippy stick because it's easier to play with than a uh, liquid lip. So this is Aquarius. It's my favorite color of all time. It's a pinky nude. Matches this color exactly. I was looking for a replacement because this is old as shit. And I just hold on to old makeup for way too long. My goal was to possibly get rid of this. I don't think I can, but I did okay. I splurged a little bit. I treated myself a little bit. And I got the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips Lipstick. I think that's what it's called. It might be like Hot Lips 2 or something. Anyway, it's gorgeous. Um, I did a lot of research. I went on, I've never said this out loud, I don't think. Temptalia, is that how you say it? To look up dupes for the Aquarius lipstick. It said that Third Eye from ColourPop was a dupe for Third Eye. No, Third Eye from ColourPop was a dupe for Aquarius from ColourPop. But then it said that this color was a dupe for Third Eye, so I thought it would be close enough. It is pretty close. It's not as pink as I wanted. I'll show you guys. This is what we got. Let's see. I haven't compared them next to each other. It's pretty damn close. Let's see. Oh yeah, real close, but again, not as pink, so. This one is Aquarius. This one is Hot Lips. Now, technically, nobody claimed they were dupes for each other, but it was like A plus B. <laughs> no, A equals B and B equals C, so then A equals C. So they're a little bit off, but so close. So I thought, if I do the pinky liner underneath, the color might, you know, become way closer than it is. And it works. I love this. It smells like cake. My other favorite thing is that this is a reusable tube. So this color is called JK Magic. And this tube is like moons and stars, which if you don't know, is like my favorite type of pattern thing. Stars and moons. So pretty. So this is the case and the case is reusable. So even if this color didn't end up being a color that I wanted to use, I could just buy a different color and put it in here. So I was like, yes, I'm spending a bunch of money on this. I don't know how much it was. This was from Sephora and I didn't check the price, but it was like, I want to say like 20, over $20 worth it for me. Also considering I've had freaking Aquarius for probably three years. <laughs> I needed an update. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on and I will pop back in in two seconds. Okay, so as you might be able to tell, I turned it just a hair more orange, a hair more peach. I still think it's a good color. It's just not the exact color that I was trying to dupe, but I will definitely be using the shit out of this. It smells so good. I want to put it on all day long and I will wear it all the time. And I like it a lot. So this was a win <laughs> for sure. Um, but I will, I don't think I can get rid of the Aquarius lip products yet because they're still, they're still too perfect. And I need them in case I need to compare the colors. Okay, my friends, we've got one thing left. So I've been using this milk setting spray for a long time. It smells like... Menthol? What does this smell like? It almost smells like medicine-y, which I really was confused about at first, but then I kind of started liking it. It smells like medicine. Super weird. Um, solid setting spray. I would use it to like wet my brush or just to melt my makeup a little bit better. Um, there was a period of time where I didn't use it at all and then I got back into it. So this has been around for a while. But as you know, probably if you follow makeup, we now have, what is it officially called? Grip and set, no, grip, set and refresh spray. 
This is a mini. Where this is this is a mini. This is how you do a mini. And it's blue. It, like I want to drink it. <laughs> I won't, but it's so nice. And as I said in the beginning, I love this. This is the best primer I've ever tried. So obviously I wanted this. And there's like nothing nothing left in this there's like three sprays left in this so i definitely needed a new one and it was a perfect opportunity to pick this up i've heard really good things about it i've sprayed it on my face like once at night so i can't really speak to how well it works but the sprayer is 25 times better than this this is just like a normal random sprayer standard this spray is so nice I don't know if you could see that or hear it at all, but just trust me, it sprays awesome. I'm so excited. This sprayed like it was like freaking Windex, so <laughs> I liked it and it worked for what it was, but this is a way, way upgraded. So I will use up the baby last bits of this and happily switch to this right away. Those were all the products I got to replace my old products. Dethroning some favorites, some staples. <laughs> Obviously, it's a super simple face right now. I will add more to it later, probably to play around with some more makeup that I got because I did not just buy things to replace staples. I definitely bought other things, but we're keeping a strong theme in this one. So we're not talking about those. <laughs> I didn't use the spray because I like am barely wearing anything. So I didn't want to use it yet until I like do more with my face if I do today. But I'm very excited to use this. Obviously, if you couldn't tell, I mixed in what I got from Sephora and Ulta. So from Sephora, I got the Charlotte Tilbury things. And this, yeah, I think these were the only three things I got from Sephora and then everything else was from Ulta, obviously because NYX and Essence aren't sell, sold at Sephora. Maybe you didn't know that. I don't know why I say obviously so much. But that's, that's how we did. I think I did really well. The things I will definitely be replacing are this stupid <laughs> elf, uh, you know, brow product. Um, I'm sure this brow product works perfectly fine for other people, but I just like, the only thing I want to do with my brows is bring out a really precise, precise tip. And that just didn't do it. So NYX is replacing that. Uh, Perversion is being replaced with the Essence for sure. Uh, this is basically almost done. So I guess technically Flawless Filter is replacing that, even though they're not really the same thing. And then... This is definitely replacing this. I'm keeping the lip products around because I don't think I did a perfect job matching them, but you know, you can have more lip products, that's fine. I did just add the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood, what is this called? Hollywood Flawless Builder as like three dots as a highlight. And then if I put a highlight on top of it, I did not yet, but I will. I'm just super happy I bought higher end things which I don't usually buy and that made me happy but then I also have some more drugstore end things that are also awesome so we've got a good mix for me going and I'm really excited to keep using these if you have a dupe for Aquarius please tell me I will get it or, you know, just any other favorites at all. If you have your favorite mascaras, you have some favorite sprays, you have some favorite primers, just let me know. Let me know what those go-tos are. And if you are trying new ones, you know, just tell me all the favorites, all the new things. And that is, that is it. If you watched this all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. I tried really hard to actually look at the camera and not my own face, so hopefully I did that okay. <laughs> don't yell at me if I didn't. Yell at me, it's fine, I don't care. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, let me know what your favorites are in the comments. 
Um, follow me on Instagram. I really like talking to people on Instagram. I have a really good group of people that I talk to on Instagram. So my Instagram is Sierra period of the day, Sierra of the day with period in the middle. And that's, that's all I got. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.